uh, that, that the Bible is evil and uh, corrupt and designed for uh, mind control and to control you. Bro, if everybody lived by the Bible, the principles of Jesus Christ and morals, there would be no killing, murdering, raping, pedophiles. Every fucking evil thing would and could not exist if everybody lived by the morals and principles of the Bible. How do I fucking know? Because I sat in a jail cell uh, most of my life with a fucking Bible. And that's all I have. I'm not saying I'm a Christian. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying that um, I live like Christ. I don't. You know what I mean? Uh, am I trying to get there and develop myself by those principles and morals? Yes. Do I struggle? Of course. Okay? People need to understand, really, what a Christian is. Okay? A Christian does not mean somebody that doesn't sin and that is exactly like Christ. Like kind of fuckery is, is people on like like on the real tip bro I'm a, I'm a real dude I can't look at anything in a fucking fake way like it just doesn't like I'm very logical if you've been in the streets and you've dealt with shit your whole fucking life and been to jail and you had to think ahead 10 20 steps to fucking survive all your life you start to recognize people's character you start to recognize when somebody's lying facial features body language um, human behavior, you know, psychology, these things, you don't need to go to fucking college to learn. The best way to be wise is to go through struggle, okay? The best way to learn is to experience. You don't know shit until you've been through it, you know what I'm saying? Until you've experienced it. Everybody has their fucking opinions and all this and that. Opinions don't fucking matter, bro. You know what I'm saying? Fuck your opinions. Opinions don't matter, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm gonna keep it real. I don't give a fuck. If I look bad, if I look evil and I'm trying to talk about the Bible, well, guess what? There's fucking gangsters out there fucking gangbanging, bro. Killing people and fucking moving packs and bricks that will tell you Jesus Christ is real. And that's the only thing, that thought that pops up in their head sometimes to stop them from fucking killing or, or hurting certain individuals. You know what I'm saying? So be happy and lucky and, and thankful that the Bible exists because a lot of people would be fucking dead if it wasn't for that book because that book has changed a lot of fucking gangsters into restraining from doing a lot of evil shit. So you can't tell me fucking shit and tell me that the Bible is, is, is evil. And I don't care if you don't like my fucking language. You know what? There's a, st there's a statistic that says that people that swear are like proven, scientific, like statistically proven to be more honest than people who don't swear. Like, because you're not holding anything back, you're not calculating what you're going to say, which is manipulative, okay? It's it's manipulating, because if you have to sit there and think about what you're going to say, this shit ain't from the heart, it ain't real to begin with, okay? So, I speak fluently from the heart, uh, and through experience, and let me tell you something, uh, you've been deceived. I've read this entire book several times okay until you're sitting in a jail cell for months and months and months and years on end with that fucking book and all you have is that book and that is it in your cell then you can come talk to me and you know what it even says in the bible that some people just don't belong to me some people were born to belong to the enemy satan and they will not be able to read the bible it will be they will not be able to understand or comprehend the bible because it to them, it'll seem like a completely different language. It'll make fucking no sense to them. It'll be like gibberish. It'll be nonsense. It'll be like contradiction to them. You know why? Because they're a contradiction to them fucking selves. And really, <laughs> when they read the book, it, they reflect on them fucking selves and say the book's a liar. I'm telling you right fucking now. I'm a real dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't care if you believe me or not. I don't give a fuck if you people say, oh, well, if you're really real, you wouldn't say it. You know what? There's been fucking years of my life I didn't even fucking crack a voice out of my mouth. You know what I mean? There's been years where i just been silent. You know what I mean? People know when I talk, I'm being nice. That's that's amazing. He, he, he gave you a warning before he smashed your fucking teeth out? Wow. That's amazing. What a blessing that, that Corey actually... Uh, t took it onto himself to actually give you fair warning with his fucking mouth before I take action because I used to be somebody that was very quiet and if you do any fucking mistake around me you're getting fucking smashed out for close to nothing you know what I'm saying and I'm not gonna say shit you're not even gonna know you're gonna think everything's all good and then fucking smash your teeth out out of nowhere and I used to do that shit you know what I mean it's real 
Okay, so I don't give a fuck what you think or what you say or blah, blah, blah and all that shit. I'm telling you right now, as a real dude, as somebody that grew up in the streets since I was 15 years old, no parents, no family, I had to sell fucking crack and coke and ecstasy and fucking weed to put clothes on my fucking body and put shoes on my feet and put food in my fucking stomach. Since I was 15, I didn't even know what a SIN number was. How the fuck am I going to get a job? I don't even know what a SIN card is or how to get one. Nobody told me. You need parents, family, influences to tell you, listen, bro, you're, get, you're 15 now, you're 16, you got to get a job. This is the way of life, or else you're going to be here. I, nobody said that shit to me. They were fucking, everybody was gangbanging, drinking, smoking, cooking coke, fucking whipping, fucking trapping, smacking, fucking punching. Like, that's all it was about. It was about that. That was what my world was, where I came from, okay? My dad did 10, year, ten years in the fucking penitentiary, uh, Collins Bay Penitentiary, okay? You know what I mean? Uh, I grew up around fucking gangsters, OGs, that have done fucking 10 years, half manslaughter charges, you know, I, I, like, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm a big, huge gangster and that somebody could knock my fucking face off, of course, that can happen, you know what I'm saying, somebody could fucking kick my door in and shoot my head off right now, you know what I'm saying, it's a possibility, it's, it's always a possibility, you know what I'm saying, but, uh, when you, when you come up in the street, you know, you learn how to be very clever, very intelligent, you learn how to read people very well, behaviors, and people's intent before they even act on their intent. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't survive, period. You, you don't make it. You know what I mean? You're either a winner or, or a fucking loser. You either make it or you don't. You either live or you die, period. All right? That's some real talk. And let me tell you something about that book. That book has stopped me from activating a lot of things inside of me, okay? I don't sell drugs no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't do the things that I used to do anymore. Consciously, I literally have denied myself of everything that I would normally do to stay on top. But to stay on top, I have to dominate other people. Honestly, it's unfortunate. And you may say, you may not agree with that and think, no, you don't have to do that. No, tr believe me. I try to just mind my own business and stay in my own fucking lane my whole life. And people came out of their fucking way to come interfere and disrupt what I'm doing to survive so then I had to readjust reassess and now fuck these people up that are fucking my pattern up okay so I'm telling you okay it doesn't matter you can mind your own fucking business stick to yourself if you show any type of weakness there's always going to be somebody there to take advantage of you steal from you rob you fuck you up treat you like a bitch fucking disrespect whatever you know what I mean and uh, that's not going to fucking happen to me. I don't give a fuck. That happened to me all my life when I was a kid. I have a birthmark on my face. People picked on me. Fucking, you know, I grew up in a really bad city. I used to get jumped by fucking refugees every day. They used to beat the shit out of me. 20, 30 of these fucking Albanians that come from a country, okay, of war. They just got deep fucking, they just got removed from their country and put here in fucking Canada from a country of war. These kids were running around 12 years old with fucking AKs killing people and fucking people up on real level actually killing people and then they take these survivors and refugees and then they put them in fucking Canada in a city boop and drop them off then you got fucking 20 30 40 50 60 to 100 fucking Albanians running around smashing everybody and they already hate white people you know and then once they get their hands on the guns like they already have when they're young now they're fucking out there shooting people you know what I'm saying so I grew up in an environment like that where you have no choice but to be a fucking demon or a monster to survive I try to be a good kid I got smashed out my whole life when I was young until I got big enough and started fucking knocking people out and stabbing bigger dudes that fucking thought they could knock me out they probably could knock me out but when they're fucking stabbed in their fucking face right through their cheek and they're bleeding everywhere and they're like oh my god I'm gonna die and then now they're running to the hospital where I'm kicking their their fucking legs out and stomping their fucking teeth out while they're bleeding to death yeah that's what happens to dudes that are bigger that try to fuck with little dudes where i come from you know what i'm saying it's the little skinny little dude that'll blow your fucking cap right off in public you know what i'm saying that's where i come from that's the lifestyle and fucking mind state that i come from where i'm from you know what i'm saying and that book completely changed me internally and changed I may still get mad, I may swear, I may do sinful things, you know what I'm saying, here and there, but 90% of the time, I'm fighting all this shit off. I'm like, fuck, man, I need to go grab a fucking ball and break that bitch down right now because I'm low on money. I can't get a fucking job. I tried, I've been handing out thousands of fucking resumes. I haven't got one fucking phone call. I go to the, I go to the fucking employment place, I'm saying, what's wrong with my resume? They're like, oh, it's a great resume. 
I mean, like, it don't matter, bro. We live in times where you're fucking forced to have to do some fucking shit, bro. Or you lose. You want to be a fucking loser? You know what I mean? And and hungry and good, and crying on the ground all week and fucking... No, no, no. Fuck that, bro. I'm going to eat. And if I'm going to die, then I'm going to eat your fucking food to survive. And that's how it really is, bro. And I'm telling you right now, that book changed that entire thing. How the fuck could somebody like that go from this to that, from that book? You can't tell me shit. There's lots of fucking serious fucking gangsters, bro, that will tell you the devil's a lie and that book is the fucking truth. And I don't give a fuck what anybody says or what your opinion is. I don't give a fuck, okay? You're an idiot, period, if you disagree with me. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, I like that shit. I like pissing people off. I like burning bridges because the bridges weren't worthy to begin with. If you fucking question me or anything I say, you're not with me. You're against me, period. I don't care about opinions. I don't care about nothing. None of that shit, okay? I've always been ahead of the game. I've always been fucking correct. You know, I'm, you can't always be right. I mean, I make mistakes. Sometimes I'm wrong. You know what I'm saying? But nine times out of fucking ten, I've always been right. And everybody's like, no, man, no, no. And then I end up being right in the fucking end. Every fucking time. When it comes to bitches, about lying, cheating, all that shit, about snakes in the grass, I was always fucking right. I was always right about things that I said were going to happen ten years later and they fucking happen. All predicted from that book. Everything predicted from that book, all my morals and principles that kept me alive in my life and kept me safe and out of trouble was from that fucking book. So you cannot tell me that that is not a good book. I didn't find, I found maybe a couple things in there that were a little bit off that I'm like, nah, that don't belong to God. Maybe a little bit altered, it, but it was just switched around to try to fucking deceive you, to turn you away from the truth. Because then you look at that and you're like, oh, wait a minute, that doesn't make sense. Fuck this book, bomb, you throw it down. So you don't read the rest, you're stupid. You know what I mean? You're going to fucking disacknowledge 90% for, for 10%? It doesn't make no sense. People are fucking stupid. Their logic is idiotic to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm a very logical individual, man. I don't have time for stupidity. You know what I'm saying? So, in the end of the day, that book has saved fucking millions and millions of lives and changed many people that, if not for that book, would be out there killing, robbing, selling drugs, doing very evil things. So, you can't tell me shit. And when it comes to, I, I hear a lot of, uh, you know, black dudes say, listen, uh, Christians fucking murdered our people. They killed our people. Let me fucking tell you something, buddy. Listen, that book, everything in it and everything that Jesus Christ represented was completely against murder, against rape, pedophilia, anything fuck up, anything evil that comes from the enemy, which is Satan, is rebuked openly by Jesus Christ in the Bible. So what the fuck are you talking about? Just because these motherfuckers said they were Christians and came and fucking killed your people, you're going to say that Christians and Jesus Christ have anything to do with that? Bro, those were something called false prophets. The Bible warns of people that will come in my name, pretend to be from me, and I will say, I never knew them. They will say they're Christians. They, they even think they're fucking Christian. How the fuck could you think you're a Christian if you don't live by anything to do with Christ? Do you know what the word Christian refers to? Christ. Christ, Chris, Christ, Christian, Christ-like, okay? Like, to be like Jesus Christ. Was Jesus killing fucking, uh, and, and racist? Like, if anything, maybe, maybe Jesus was, was b black or dark-skinned because of where he was in, in, at that time. Like, it doesn't matter. It don't matter if he's black or white. It never mattered. In fact, he would actually condemn you for bickering on things like that. To even argue about something like that, Jesus would be completely against. He was also against religion. Jesus Christ was against religion. It's stated in the Bible that he even said religious people are whores. And whores meant a different thing back then, by the way. That's another thing that people get fucking twisted. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, well, what the fuck? This says this and that. Like, it had a complete... You couldn't even comprehend what the fuck that meant back then. Things meant completely different things back then. That you wouldn't even fucking... wouldn't even strike you like that. You know what I'm saying? That's how stupid and dull people are, bro. I can't handle stupidity. You know what I'm saying? That is a book of complete wisdom, knowledge, love, and fucking truth. That's it. That's it. I don't care what you guys... Listen, I've heard people say, oh my god, I've heard some fucked up shit. Like, people just try to say that some things that have been said in the Bible. People are twisting and altering things meanings and things that are being said in the Bible to, to mean a completely opposite fucking thing of what it actually means. 
It's fucking, and only a real dude that comes from the street, it can fucking pick apart some fucking retard like that. Buddy, if that book was on some fuckery, I would have opened it up, right through the whole fucking thing, wrote down every single fucking thing that is fucked up, and then I would have made a huge documentary on it saying, fuck that book. Coming from a real one. Try to tell me shit. I, I have been had people try to tell me shit my whole fucking life. And guess what I, I acquired from that? Not a fucking thing, but deception. Okay? Listen to yourself. Believe in your fucking self. I ain't talking to you fucking people no more. I'm not listening to any what, what people think they have to say and their opinions and this and that. Guess what? I'm somebody that said, fuck all the bullshit nonsense. I'm the real dude that's going to come in here and fucking tell you how it is. And I'm going to tell you what the truth is. Because I have the fucking brain and I have the wisdom. I was blessed. You're a fucking idiot. Period. And I've been doing that my whole life. And people have always been wrong and I've always been fucking right. To the point where... I had to humble myself and realize that if I keep being cocky about the fact that I'm always right, God will also take that away from me, and I will, and I won't be right anymore. I'll be a fucking fool. He'll just take that from me, and that's real. That shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying like fuck, bro. What, what's another thing? Uh, okay, yeah, about the thing about uh, like fucking. Um, as some black guy told me that Christians is the ones that enslaved them and killed their people. <laughs> Bro, like I said, anything to do with Jesus Christ was the complete opposite of murder. He taught to not kill. The Bible teaches to not kill. So if these people are claiming that they're Christians, they are false prophets, and they falsely come in Jesus' name and say they're Christians, and they belong to Satan himself, and they are acting out, pretending that they're Christians, doing evil things in Jesus' name. And you're going to believe that, and now you're going to go and look at them like the Christians are fucked up and Jesus is fucked up? No, no, no. The devil's fucked up and fucked you up and turned you against the truth and Christians, and now you're a fucking idiot just like that person. Real talk, bro. Hold that. Real shit. Realest fucking shit out there, bro. I don't care what you say. I've already analyzed it. I'm 26 years old. I've already been through it for 10, 11 fucking years. You can't tell me shit. I have dedicated my fucking life and energy to this shit and almost exerted myself to the point of death to, to be correct, to be fucking on point and accurate with the things that I say. So until you dedicate your whole fucking life to something, then you can talk to me, okay? Uh, like, you don't even understand. You couldn't fathom. I promise. Okay? So anyways, um, there's nothing wrong with the Bible. Uh, I've seen a couple things that threw me off a little bit that I know may not be directly from Christ or God. I feel like man has altered a couple of things, and I'm talking about under 10%, okay? A small fraction, of course you're going to get that. And what the fuck do you mean the, the Bible was wrote by men? Are you fucking stupid? Bro, God works through man, works through people, the Spirit, okay? It was God's insight given to a man spiritually to write that out okay i don't know one fucking man that is like jesus christ or that are like the, some of the dudes in the bible you know what i'm saying the morals the the loyalty like the realness like <laughs> bro it's pure wisdom that shit is the fucking bro Coming from a slick dude that, bro, you remember, I used to set people up. I used to get bitches to set dudes up and rip plugs. Bro, I did all the sleazy, sneaky, intelligent, demonic shit you could fucking possibly think of. Okay, I was one of the one dudes that really knows what the fuck I'm doing at all times. And I always come up on top. You know what I mean? I was just one of those guys. Thank God to have that wisdom and knowledge and experience in life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to put that shit to sleep. Um, you don't have shit to say to me, period. You know what I'm saying? Some people will live their entire lives and not feel the presence of God. That's written in the Bible, too. So just because you don't know God and never felt God and can't prove He exists doesn't mean He doesn't, that He doesn't exist. Period. Just because you can't see something doesn't mean it don't exist. There's another one for you. But you believe in oxygen. You can't see that shit. That shit keeps you alive, though, doesn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Let's reassess. Let's think for a minute. Okay? I'm telling you right now, that book has stopped me from doing a lot of shit. So there is not a fucking human being on this planet that can change my mind or tell me anything 
they'd be lying through their fucking teeth. <laughs> and you may have been deceived. Maybe it's not even your fault. You have been tricked and deceived by your history, your culture, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You've been misled. There is hatred in your hearts from past events that you're relating to Christians that had nothing to really do with a true, real Christian because Christians don't kill. Real Christians don't murder. Okay? So they can't be Christians. And Jesus, if you knew God and if you knew the Bible and you knew Jesus, then he would have, you would have learned that and you wouldn't be tripping. You wouldn't be talking shit like that because you would have known better. People are stupid, period. And I'm calling everybody out. You want to have the discussion? Let's fucking get it, bro. You know what I mean? I'll fucking counter destroy every fucking everything you have. I've been hearing this shit for 10 fucking years and I've shut everybody down. I have a fucking response for everything you that you would like to put in the comments. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Go for it. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter because the truth will always prevail and God will always win in the end and Satan will always lose. And his time for winning is temporary and limited. So enjoy your time, uh, devil, because your fucking time is almost up. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? I'll be honest. I was an evil dude. I did a lot of evil fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? And I was empowered by that. There was an energy and power that I had from evil. You could see it in my fucking eyes. Sometimes you can still see it. The demon comes out. I have to suppress it and rebuke it in Jesus' name and, and take it out of me. And it goes away. But I used to have this energy about me that people could not understand, man. Like, I was a demonic force. I fucked people up for real. Like, I'm not saying I'm a big dude. Like, I'm, not, I'm not saying that I can't get fucked up. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. It can happen. You know what I'm saying? But I know how real it is. So when I, I if if I see it come, you would literally have to shoot me in the head from behind me to, to fuck me up. You'd have to get rid of me in some fucking really good, really, really <laughs> sporadic, spontaneous way. Because if I see that shit coming, I'm fucking grabbing and getting everything ready. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. I've already had to survive in the war fucking in a battlefield in a concrete jungle my whole life. You know what I'm saying? So whatever. But I'm just telling you guys, man, uh, from one real dude from another man, like I said, bro, I grew up in the streets. I moved packs. I fucking did stab people. I done fucking been to jail. I did all that shit. I'm not saying I'm a super gangster. There's always a bigger gangster and there's always bunny, somebody that'll take it further than I did. You know what I'm saying? And there's always somebody bigger than me that can fuck my shit up. You know what I mean? That's not what I'm looking for. But what I'm trying to say some real shit. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. I know myself. You can go ahead and say this and this and that. Real gangsters don't talk and, and and are silent. Well, guess what? Sometimes gangsters fucking get mad and start beaking off and then fucking start smashing people on top of it. You know what I'm saying? That shit happens. It depends on how fucking mad you get somebody. And eventually, you know, if if you're lucky enough for that person to even to even crack their fucking lips and say something, then that, that's a, a fair warning. You could have been just sitting there not even expecting it and motherfucker come up and stab you in your fucking throat. And then say... Yeah, guess what? You didn't think that shit was going to happen, did you? You know what I'm saying? I've, d I've done all types of shit like that. I've had people fucking try to be, this guy ain't about shit. He ain't fucking about that life, bro. He ain't all that shit, bro. And then trust me, bro. They found out. Believe me. They found out, bro. And that's why you don't ever underestimate somebody or ever fucking cool, ever think that shit. It's not possible, bro, because even I don't do that. I've been surprised myself. You know what I mean? <laughs> Believe me. So... Anyways, uh, fuck everybody talking shit about the Bible. You're a fucking foo foo lame, fugazi ass motherfucker. I'm not a Christian. I tr try to be a Christian. I'm not perfect. I try to be better, and that book has made me a better person, regardless of how I speak. Doesn't matter how I talk. Doesn't matter how I act. I am not selling drugs. I'm not kicking doors in. I'm not fucking hurting people. I'm not plotting on people. I'm not seeking revenge on people. I'm not being envious of people, jealous of people. These things are told. You're not, they're not allowed as a Christian. You're not allowed to be killing and fucking stealing and doing evil. I have work that needs to be done and God will finish his work in me. You know what I'm saying? And that's a promise. You know what I'm saying? And I've done, if you knew me from before, trust me, people can't even recognize me anymore. They can't believe how much I've morally changed. They just thought I was a fucking demon and there's nothing that could ever stop me. And I was going to be dead or in jail for life. And I've been told I could I have a thousand screenshots of people saying that shit because they know who I am. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, um, uh, I just want to spread some light and some truth on that and let you guys know uh, if, you know, like, uh, you're not going to believe some white dude in a fucking suit, some preacher that 
you know, has never fucking gang banged and never done not, nothing fucking gangster for him. He's probably been like that his whole life. Motherfucker's probably, you know, born into that life. Whatever, right? But you can take it from somebody like me. If you're a real dude, the, the real dudes in the streets, they ain't going to believe this shit. They're going to be like, fuck the Bible, fuck God. I don't believe in that shit. That shit ain't real. Where the fuck's God when I need him, right? But I'm telling you, I can answer that shit to you too, bro. Real talk. This is why God even get blessed me with the knowledge is because he knows that I'm the only one that can communicate properly with the other, the fucking real individuals that are really going to actually take in what I'm saying possibly. You know what I'm saying? From proof of fucking example. You know what I mean? Of who I am and who I used to be and who I am now. Like, point blank period. The proof is in the fucking pudding, man. Period. Enough beating around the bush. Enough fuckery. Enough chit chat. Enough bickering. Enough bullshit. Politics. No. I'm telling you right now. That book saved my fucking life and saved a lot of people's life from me, even. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, like I said, I'm not saying I'm a fucking killer, a fucking gangster, you know what I mean? Like, I have been in some mind states. I have done some shit in my life, and I have surprised myself, and I have been scared of my fucking self and what I might do, and, and I had to rebuke demons out of me in Jesus' name in order to remain in control of my temple before I fucking lose it, or I dismiss somebody else's temple. And then get locked up and lose my fucking freedom. You know what I'm saying? So, thank Jesus Christ. Thank the Bible. Okay? Be grateful. Stop talking shit. Okay? Christians didn't come kill your people. There was no racist Christians. That doesn't exist in Christianity and real Christians. I don't care about the false prophets and the fake motherfuckers saying that they're Christians out there doing evil in Jesus' name. I rebuke them in Jesus' name. Okay? Like I said, maybe you might see me in 10 years. I might not even swear. I might be like this with my hair spiked. You know what I mean? I might, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter, bro. Like, it don't matter. It's not, you know what I mean? You'd be surprised how powerful the name Jesus is and, and, and what that book can do for you and to you. I've had blessings. I, I uh, bro, I can't keep going on this video. It's 26 minutes. But I'm telling you guys, real talk, okay? Take it in. Or fucking argue or disagree. I don't give a fuck. Your shit don't matter. Okay, I'm telling you facts. I don't care if you like it or what you think you thought. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I'm past that point. You know? I've heard lots of people go like that, bro. And I've always just sat back and been like, all right. All right. See ya. Watch. Watch. Just watch. That's all I'm going to say. They were wrong. They were wrong. They were wrong. And you know what? Even after they're fucking wrong, they still won't admit it, bro. People are wrong all the fucking time in me, man, and, and, and when I'm right, and then they don't want to say shit after. They just shut up and just keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it's always been, bro. You know what I mean? My whole fucking life. Still. So anyways, um, whatever, man. <laughs> the Bible's a good thing, man. There's nothing wrong with it. There's no deception in it. There might be some altered things that don't add up and don't... If you know God, God is love. So you just have to remember that and have a spiritual connection with God and dismiss all the politics and stories in between. Take it in, analyze it, know God from here, and you'll be fine and you'll understand the truth. And the truth shall set you free. Okay? So anyways, God bless. Take care. Sincere music.